Are too many of your operators, especially new hires, taking way too long to become productive? And are your team leaders having trouble coaching the best way to conduct calls, whether they're sales calls, booking appointments, or handling customer service calls? If you've said yes to either of these questions, then you need to create an easy-to-learn call structure that crystallizes each step of the call that operators need to follow and is easy to coach. Hi everyone, I'm Mark Carrier, and in today's video you'll discover a coachable call structure I created about 26 years ago and have been used to train tons of uh, operators, team leaders, call center managers all around the world. You can use this call structure for any type of call and I'll be showing you a call structure I created for inbound and outbound sales calls for a client in the leisure travel industry who makes over 150 million in uh, phone sales every year. They've been using this call structure for years and their team leaders religiously coach it to every new hire and underperformer. And at the end of the video, I'll uh, let you know how to grab a copy of this call structure so you can customize it for your calls. When you talk with sales underperformers in your call center and ask them where they need the most help, pretty much all of them will tell you they need help in closing the sale. And when you listen to a few of their calls, you find uh, they're losing people way back in the beginning of the call, usually not long after a hello. And the operators are oblivious to this. You hear them rushing through calls, jumping all over the place, and not even finding out if there's anything about what they're selling that actually interests the prospect. Team members uh, need an easy-to-understand call structure they can follow for every call. And I'm not talking about a call script or call guide. You know, in fact, before you create any call guide or script, I believe you should create a coachable call structure first and follow its structure when creating your call script or call guide. You know, a structure that sets out all the key steps in the proper sequence that operators need to follow to achieve the positive outcomes you want from their calls. This also provides team leaders with a simple and easy to understand structure they can coach to make sure everyone is on the same page. Here's what I'm talking about. This particular uh, sales call structure can be used for either inbound or outbound calls and with a few tweaks, uh, customer service calls too. The only uh, difference for outbound sales and customer service calls would be some different coaching tweaks uh, for each step of those calls. To show you how this works in a practical sense, I'll use an inbound sales call as the example, and although I'm, I'll be making some references to coaching, this isn't a training session on how to coach the call structure. I'll be uploading a video on how to do that um, in a few weeks. So for now, I'll just go through the steps uh, so you get an idea of the structure. Uh, the first step is the introduction, and this refers to the opening when the call is answered by an operator, which gives them an opportunity to build rapport straight away. Next is the intent statement, where the operator says something along the lines of, uh, thanks for your call, Mrs. Caller, I'll be happy to help you with that, and uh, I'll make sure you get exactly what you want. Again, building rapport after introduction. Now, this naturally leads to the transition to discovery part of the call, where the operator asks for permission to learn more about what the caller is looking for by saying something like, we have a lot of different options and some special pricing on that, so to make sure I totally understand what you want, may I ask you a few questions? Now, this also builds rapport by showing genuine interest in what the caller wants and also gives permission to ask questions that may lead to an upgrade, to add-on, or cross-sell opportunity. And after getting permission to ask questions, operators move into the discovery part of the call and ask relevant questions to zero in on specifically what the caller wants. And operators would drill down on the answers to their questions to learn why these things are important to the caller. This is especially important in the presentation part of the call because with this intelligence, operators can make their presentations more personal and set up trial closes. Uh, here's an example of what I mean. So it needs to be that particular color. Oh, okay. If you don't mind me asking, why is that? And the answer might be, well, that's the best color that goes with my outfit, and it would look absolutely stunning at the work function I need to go to. Oh, I totally get it, and a work function sounds like fun. When is it? And, you know, they file this intelligence to use later in their presentation. 
Now I should point out that many operators just go from introduction to presentation and miss out on all these steps in between. And because they haven't uh, had an opportunity to build enough rapport or get a really clear understanding of what the caller wants, they can't present the product in a way that really speaks to what the caller wants. Now, missing out on these steps is the biggest reason why most sales are lost and why operators think they need help with their closing skills. The truth is, it's got nothing to do with improving their closing skills because without these critical steps, they aren't properly prepared and haven't earned the right to ask for the sale. If they have all the information learned from their discovery questions and drilled down to find out why the answers are important to the caller, they can present the product in a way that really connects with the caller and easily transition into closing with trial closers like, well, we do have that in royal blue. That's the color you wanted to make your outfit stunning, isn't it? And once they get a yes, the operator simply moves into the close step by saying, we have that in stock for X dollars right now and can have it delivered to you by X date. Does that work for you? If so, they continue with, great, which credit card would you like to use? When you do a really good discovery and drill down, you can deliver a great presentation. And without a great presentation, that speaks exactly to what a caller wants. You don't get a lot of objections either. If you do, typically these objections are really uh, revolve around certain conditions, not objections, which can be you know, likely handled with some negotiation. Pretty cool structure, isn't it? Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on how easily you think it could be uh, to coach making or handling calls with a call structure like this. So just leave your comments in the comments section below. And if you have any questions, uh, put them there too. And I'll be sure to answer all your questions. Now, please do me a favor. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. And uh, if you think it can help someone else, please share it with them too. And as I promised, uh, I'll leave a link in the video description section below so you can grab a copy of the coachable call structure to use for your calls. Uh, in a week or two, I'll upload a video on how to uh, coach a call structure like that. And if you'd like to see that, be sure to subscribe to my channel so uh, and hit the notification bell so you will uh, get notified when it comes up. So again, thanks for uh, watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.